Hello everyone, hello there. Just get this straightened up. Hi, how are we all? I hope you're well. I'm sorry I'm a little bit late. Um, just getting a few bits together so that we could get started. Um, and realised that I needed my, um, my newer iPad, shall we say, so that I can um, see your comments. Uh, that's what I'm just, um, just trying to sort out. Um, let's have a look. Oh, there, right, there I am. Just trying to sort oh. out. <laughs> Sorry about hearing me twice there. A little bit of a delay. Oh, hello there. Hi, we've got people. Um, so I'm just going to... Um, I might wonder if this just bear with me while I turn you turn you upside down and move some of my cards. So I think I might possibly have room to position this the way that it's meant to be. It does look very wonky. There we go. Let's try try that um, and see if I can get you straightened up. How's that? That's okay. Hey there! Right. Okie dokie. Hello everyone. Hello to my lovely tea timers. Um, so, who have we got with us? Is that, is that straight or is it fairly unstraight? <laughs> ah, that looks... Hmm. I think I can live with that. How are we all this evening? Are we okay? Um, Lindsay says, sorry that was me not sure I logged in. Sometimes it does just keep you logged in, Lindsay. It's, it's a weird old thing. It's happened to, it's happened to us all at some point. <laughs> um, don't worry though, um, you can uh, pretend to be um, time for tea today. So let me just um, add a little bit more light into the situation because it's a little bit dull today here in Sheffield it's been a bit um how's that that's a little bit a bit brighter isn't it oh it's very bright actually <laughs> right let's just um there we go I think that's that's not too bad is it okay so um how are we all this evening let's get settled Alison says she's all packed and ready to head to Yorkshire. What are you, are, are you coming here on holiday to visit friends, Alison? Um, I um, I have to say, I just have to um, make a little admission up front, guys, is that I don't think this is going to be a super long live. And I know that's famous last words for me, isn't it, really? But um, I have, uh, we've had a busy, 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 busy week. And we are both extremely tired and we still have loads of work to do this evening to catch up on everything that we've we kind of got a little bit behind schedule this week because of um, some well because of the release I mean we were super super busy with the release um, and thank you to everyone that's um, that's bought from the new release. I am absolutely blown away by the number of orders. Um, this was such a fun release and such a popular release um, that yeah, you've uh, you've really gone to town on it, and we're so pleased. Um, and it, but it just means obviously that we've been super busy. Um, obviously, we had Crate and Craft last week, and then catching up on all your orders and trying to then get back into the swing of normal day-to-day -day life plus we've had some things going on at home and um, we're having some work done on the house we've uh, we're trading in our car for a new one and there's been some problems with that as there there's always issues with these things isn't there and then we've also got um it's like wedding season suddenly hit because of everybody's had to postpone them because of covid so now we have um, wedding invitations coming up that we're trying to plan for and it's my mum and dad's 50th wedding anniversary this weekend which I'm um, doing a few bits for as well so we've got quite a bit going on so I'm going to uh, but I didn't want to let you guys down by not doing the live because there was a thought oh have we got time maybe I should um, you know we should postpone but um, 
I didn't want to let you guys down, especially so close to the new release. Um, so we are going to do, obviously we're going to do some crafting tonight, but it might be a quicker quicker show than normal. So just catching up on some comments I've just noticed. Hello Alison, we've got Alison, Chelsea, Alison, Jane Green. So that's at least two Alisons checked off my list for today. Um, and Alice, oh and Alice Gadney is here and she said she's here with the time for tea stamps that she ordered an eon ago. Now it started raining, you're sat in the conservatory and getting a bit of crafting done which is awesome. Lindsay's currently on day five of isolation. Oh no, Lindsay. Um, but it's a chance to get some crafting done. So every cloud, as they say. Hello to Laura. Laura and you're just popping on quickly as you're, you're uh, at your in-laws. So um, have a lovely evening and thank you for saying hello. I love that you, you still check in with us, which is so cute. So my thoughts are for tonight, like I say, I do want to um, probably make it a little bit of a quicker one. Um, uh, because of um, all of this, the other things that we've got going on at the moment so um, and we'll have a little chat about some of those as we go along what I thought I'd do is I would show you the card that I didn't get a chance to make on creating craft because I think it's really cute and I was so disappointed that I didn't get a chance to make it but I never get a chance to do some of these things um, and it's it's such a shame oh I'm throwing some of my bits about um that there, there is just no time oh sorry i'm just picking something up off the floor there um and it just means that you know you're, you're just rushing through things and i but you have to have stuff prepared in case you do have time so i had this extra uh, my surface feels a bit sticky um i had this extra um card uh, prepped but I didn't get a chance to do it. So I thought, well, wouldn't it be quite nice if we, um, if we perhaps have a go at that tonight? Um, and like I say, it will be a little bit quicker because I have got bits of it prepped. Um, but it won't be as quick as when we do it on TV. <laughs> uh, so, uh, so yeah, so we'll, I will be able to go into a bit more detail than I would on TV, which is nice as well because the pressure of having to do it so quickly on TV is just... Rah, rah. Um, so I will get to spend a bit more time showing you how I've done this, but um, but yeah, it'll be um, it'll be a little bit quicker. So it is a slimline card that I made. Um, I feel like I'm talking really fast as well because I can f I'm feeling, you know, when you're feeling the pressure of so many jobs in the back of your mind that you've got to do. So I feel like I'm I'm talking fast, and I don't want you to feel like I'm rushing things. So I, I need to just take a breath, don't I? <laughs> Sorry guys. Just have a quick a quick drink of my um my drink there, my water there, and hopefully that'll help help me calm down a touch. So first up then is we're doing a slimline card and um I've already cut the the kind of centerpiece of my slimline card using our um slimline um trio of circles die so um let me just see if i can grab it because it's um it's this this bad boy here which is great and i think i've picked yeah i picked the center central one so the outer one will give you um kind of what is a standard size slimline card um, in the US so you can use that for your card base and then this is um, the middle one which will sit inside our UK sized um, DL cards so it's it's compatible with both if you like um, so um, so that's why I'm using it and I apologize for the state of my nails as well and I'm covered in ink as you can see so I look like, you know, I do look like I've been crafting, I guess. <laughs> so that was that's the starting point for my card. And my, my thoughts are that I'm going to use the confetti stencil for my background. So let me find my stencil. So I do love this stencil. I think it's really, really cool. But you and the thing is, it's a six by six stencil. So obviously it isn't going to go all the way across my slim line so i want to show you just how i use it and, uh, and how easy it is really to use 
on a slimline card base, even though it's not technically speaking made for slimline cards. So um, I've got my silicon mat here um, to just protect my surface. Um, and then I'm going to pop my um, my piece of cardstock down and then I've got my stencil. Now, when I, when I work the stencil, I'm not gonna go right to this edge where there's a solid line. I'm just gonna fade it out towards the edge and that's how we're gonna be able to overlap it because we can overlap the stencil design because it is, um, because it's falling confetti, it will fall randomly, won't it? So some pieces might overlap in real life. So I wouldn't uh, be worried about that. So I'm gonna use some mustard seed, I think I did use. I think I used a bit of, excuse me while I just lean across you, a bit of peacock feathers, I believe. And then I also used, I believe, a bit of picked raspberry. So some really nice, bright, fun colours uh, because we need um, to, because, you know, it's a party. I was very keen that I would use some really nice, bright colours. So, um, so that's what we're going to do. So I'm going to use my yellow brush to begin with. Now there's two ways that you can do this depending on the depth of colour. You can use your stackable blender brushes if you were lucky enough to grab hold of some of these. Um, then you can definitely use these to help you get your colour down. Or um, I'm, I think I'm going to use a softer, softer colour um, by using my larger, larger brush. Because you get a much more intense colour. But you know... It all depends on how much pressure you, you apply as well. So you can vary it, but I feel like um, you can apply a bit more of a direct colour with the smaller brushes. So um, I am just holding this um, in place rather than taping it down. Um, but like I said, I think if you're worried about it moving around, then do just pop a bit of tape on to hold it in place but because I'm going to be moving it part way through I'm a little bit idle and uh, and I don't I don't do it um, as I go along so let me um, find my microfiber cloth and I'm just going to give that a little brush off um, and then I pop that to one side Lynn says she loves the slim line set. It's so handy and beautiful. Oh, thank you. That's really lovely. I think it's it's super super ha handy as well. Um, so I've got one of my new teal brushes here, um, and I'm going to use that with the peacock feathers. And we're going to go in to the kind of the middle section here to add a layer of this um, this teal. So again, I'm just doing this quite softly and I'm doing a, I'm overlapping some of that yellow as well. So we are just overlapping that slightly. And then I'm not going to add any harsh pressure up this end uh, because we don't want to, um, I don't want to create um, too harsh a line there. I'm gonna use one of my pink brushes now um, and use some of this picked raspberry and then we're going to add this to the top and where that overlaps with the peacock feathers you're going to get a really nice purple so we've created a bit of a rainbow here um, kind of inadvertently because we've got um, yellow going into green going into that, uh, that teal into purple and now into pink which is really cool. So let's just pop that there, and we can lift that up, and you can see how we've got that first that first layer of colour, which is really cool. So I'm now going to go back, uh, go, going to replace my uh, my stencil, and I'm just looking here uh, because obviously I can see see through my stencil where um, I've already got colour applied. Um, and I'm going to just find a space where there isn't already confetti, basically. And I'm just going to place that over the top. I'm not going to go right to this edge here um, and create that harsh line. Um, I'm just going to go as far as I need to. So I've got a bit of my yellow here and I'm just going to 
add that across the middle and I'm not worried about the kind of crossover um, because like I say those colours will blend together because we've used colours that are next in that rainbow if you know what I mean. So that's my yellow and then we'll go back to, oh, throwing my brush around, go back to the teal and I've probably still got a fair bit of colour on this brush so I might not need to ink it up all that much, just enough to get, get this layer of colour down. The great thing as well about those little brushes, if you have them, is that you can apply spot colour um, a little bit more effectively. So if you want to control where that colour goes, that is, it is a really good, good thing to, to do that with those brushes. Um, so you know that you're not going to get any of that, that weird overlap. There you go. So there we've, we've, we've managed to use that all the way across. There's a little bit of shadow in there. But once we've added some of our background layers, you'll not see that at all. So, Daniel says, so she's late today. That's no problem. No problem at all. Um, so I'm just grateful that you guys have uh, been able to join us. Um, so what's everyone been up to? Is everyone having a good week so far? Are we looking forward to the weekend? Have we got crafty plans for the weekend? That's the, uh, that's the big question. I'm just going to wipe up my stencil and surrounding areas. And I'm going to leave these inks out because we are going to use those shortly um, to do some bits for our background. So I'm just going to wipe this down and wipe down my stencil. Yeah, and this this is just a um, like a chamois cloth uh, for your car, basically. Um, and what's really good about it is it just stay as long as it's in an airtight container, it stays a little bit damp but isn't soaking wet. Um, and that's great then for just wiping off stencils, wiping off your stamps, that kind of thing. Um, and it doesn't get mouldy. Um, it's I don't know how, but it doesn't go mouldy or horrible, um, even though it's kept moist all that time. So Danielle says she's had a lush day at the beach. Wow, I'm very jealous. What beach have you been to? Where have you where have you been? Because we don't live near a beach at all here, and I'm very very jealous. Um, but like I say, we've been been working all day, so we've not really seen much sunshine today. Sarah um, is doing some home improvement and trying to sort out a craft room. Good luck with that. Have you got much to sort out? Um, you've you've got a lot of time for tea goodies to sort out, Sarah Louise. <laughs> I um, do you like to be called Sarah Louise or is it just Sarah? I think when people put their middle names on, I always I always think I always use their form like Laura Ann. I always say Laura Ann instead of just Laura. So you have to tell me. Um, and uh, you're also covered in white gloss. I hate glossing. That's th that's one of the worst jobs, I think. Um, yeah, it's not, not much fun, so good luck with all of that. Um, and um, Jane's been weeding and has got mud under her nails instead of ink for her change. Um, Danielle says, you're in South End, so our nearest is, is in Essex and the kiddies love it. Oh, I bet they do, I bet they do. That's, I'm so jealous. So, so jealous. Right, so I've got a little bit of stamping card here. To, do a, to show you a little bit of sampling, now I have already pre-prepped some of these things, like I say, I had prepped a lot of this for Crate and Craft, so, but I will show you um, what I what I was going to do um, as part of the, the show, um, because one of the things that I wanted to, really wanted to cover was the fact that the Big Birthday Wishes stamp set has got these great birthday balloons in it and they, they are very very cool I love them um, and I wanted to be able to build my own balloons now I've seen a few different um, 
examples online of balloon cards that are made just purely with balloons and a sentiment. So this is kind of my take on that because I like to have a little critter in my um, in my cards. Um, I just think that makes it a little bit more fun, doesn't it? So, um, so let's get this um, this set cracked open. So you've seen um i don't think you've seen me coloring the bear i can't remember if i showed you me coloring in the bear um but i do already have a bear stamped out so what i'm going to show you is actually just stamping out these uh, these balloons um and what i might do is um i might i've put them on my stamping platform here but actually i think what i'm going to do is i am going to stamp these freehand um because uh it's it's just as easy to do it that way um, and in some ways it's a little bit easier is everybody in essex i always say it. <laughs> um alison jane green says that you're not too far away um and sarah says she's got lots of lovely time tea goodies to sort out on label um alice so either sarah or sarah louise so right okay then um I will probably whatever comes out of my mouth at the time is what will come out <laughs> um alice says building cupboards this weekend but just stamping ready for coloring excellent um cool that you all live quite close together um that's really cool everyone's in essex there seems to be a lot of crafters in and around kind of london and essex area doesn't it anyway yeah you not you you're you're way away annalisa in uh, in canada but still an exciting place to live i imagine so i've got one of my balloons here um on a stamping block and i'm going to stamp this up with some picked raspberry now what you will find with your distress oxides is that these probably don't give you as crisp a image um, first time around um, or at all really in comparison to a purely dye based ink so if you've got um, I do have a few of the um, the what are they called the memento I think they're memento or versafine um, they are oh, that picked up the, the only one that I've put a sticker on Yes, the Memento Dew Drops, that's it, um, dye-based inks, they're very, very good um, for solid stamping like this. So if you do have any of those, then I recommend those for this particular stamp. Um, you can still use the uh, oxides, um, but they sometimes need, you see, that's a pretty good impression. And I like the faded look of it because it does look... Um, like uh you know it, well it looks hand stamped and it looks like a um the you know some of the color that you would get on a balloon so it gives it more shape rather than it being to a totally flat image which i which i like the effect of um but if you want it to be completely you know solid then i would recommend maybe something like those dew drops um which are very cool so I'm going to stamp out the um, the smaller one in yellow, and I'm apply. So for this purpose, I am applying my ink to my stamp rather than putting my stamp in the ink, because again, I think that gives me better coverage. And then I'm just going to stamp that down. Um, and again, that's just giving me a little bit of highlight there, which again I just think gives it a little bit more more shape and a bit more movement. So. I do like my um, my oxides for, for this and mine um, stamps are well seasoned so that's another thing just to remember the first time you use your stamps um, they won't stamp as well um, in a solid image like this as if you've done it a couple of times so um, if you're struggling with the, the first, you know, with, to get a really good impression with your uh, Distress Oxide inks on a solid stamp and it's the first time you've used it, that's probably why. Jane's in Chester, um, another northerner. Uh, and Lindsay's in the West Midlands. <laughs> so we've got, we've got a few, we've got people from all over the world, haven't we? Um, I do love that, you know, that we've got people from all over the world. Um, so Jane says that she has a solid balloon stamp that she uses to swatch her inks and it looks fab. There you go. That's a really good idea, isn't it, to use that, this shape. 
so cool good good uh, good tip there Jane I like that so the other thing that I wanted to show you then I've got so I've got three three of my balloons I've smudged that one a bit so just be careful with that if your ink's still wet actually I need that that so I'll leave that that open because what we're going to do next is in the stamp set let me just show you come here in the stamp set let's stick that back down um we have these smaller stamps so you've got a high you've got a little dot you've got a little heart and you've got an xo so you can use these to decorate uh, not only your backgrounds but also your balloons so um you could use the little heart balloon here um we could use the little um the little spots as well so one of the things that you could do um if you had to, if you had the time and the inclination shall we say would be to um i might use this little tuxedo memento black ink that i pulled out this dude i've not used it for a while let's try that um uh what was I saying? Yes, if you had the time or the inclination, you could um, use a, um, a embossing ink and then add some embossing powder to the top of these um, and emboss the, uh, the little dots. But I'm just going to go on with some black ink just to kind of demonstrate how it could look. Um, and I'm just going to randomly add some dots so I've now got a little spotty balloon which is cute isn't it now if you wanted to go right to the edge um, you could just add a little bit of paper underneath your uh, just around the edge of your um, your balloon just to stop it going to stop it um overlapping because when you die cut your um your image so we do have coordinating dies for each of these so when you when you um cut them out they will have a little white border so i'm just going to ink up that and then for this one i'm just going to put that heart right in the middle there which i think looks really cool um, and then you can also um, let me just grab the XO and turn it the right way up. You can then also stamp that in here. And like I say, if you wanted to, um, let me just grab a bit of washi tape might be a good idea. If you want it to kind of go off the side, just add a little bit of washi tape where you're going to stamp it and then stamp it on there and you see it will just it will go off the edge and it will not um so it'll look like it's going round the balloon if that makes sense so let's pop that there and then do that and then we can do the same just on there And there we've we've got our little pattern on our on our uh, on our balloons there. So you can use these to just add a little bit of extra decoration. And like I say, if you've got the the time and the inclination, you can do um, do those in some embossing inks. So you can um, and powder. So you can perhaps do them in white or in gold or in silver, anything like that. You know that you uh, that you fancied so that's just another little option for you so like i mentioned we do have the coordinating dies for all of these so mine are all in a bit of a jumble at the moment because i haven't got any more magnetic sheets but you will just use those to cut those out um and then um they like i said they'll have a little little white border around them so I do have, let me just pop these away because I'm going to lose my little, my little stamps if I don't. So let's just pop those back in there and put 
put this away. So I do love the little birthday bear because he's so cute and he comes with a little mousy friend as well, uh, which is really adorable. Um, and then the sentiments that he comes with are also very, very cool. Um, and they're a ni really nice size. So, um, and I think you're gonna, just gonna use this one just constantly because of how versatile it is. So let's just move this out of our way because we've now completed that. So now you I'll just show you the bits that I have already done. So that's my little bear. And then I've also stamped out all of these balloons. So and I've coloured his balloons in, the little bear's balloons in the same, roughly the same colours that um, I would ha I would be using in my, um, uh, you know, I've used for my for my um, balloons here. So I think I may need to cut out another balloon. Let me have a look. Um, just to make sure I've got enough. No, I've got enough balloons there, that's fine. So just checking with my um, my original that I'd prepped, that I've got all the balloons that I need. So um, the other thing that I did um, as well, and again, I've already prepped this ahead of time, is the Big Birthday witch Witches, no, the Big Birthday Wishes. Hello Sharon, hi everyone, I didn't know that you were doing a live. Oh, um, the, the event did go in the calendar yesterday, uh, but we do usually do them every Thursday at eight o'clock, um, unless that, you know, there's something like major happening that means I can't get on for whatever reason. Um, so yeah, so um, it's usually a regular slot, um, but tonight's is a little bit quicker than normal because of all of the extra activity that's going on here at time for tea so um so yeah so it is going to be a little bit shorter than normal but normally we would be here for a good good hour and a half wouldn't we maybe longer and having a bit of crafty time so my big birthday wishes not my big birthday witches um uh, die is really really cool it's a great size um, so it's a really good focal point and it all cuts out in one so you can see this is one that I've cut out in black already and it comes out just in one piece which I think is really really cool because that makes it so much easier for me to apply to my um, my card so what I've done is I've cut this out of black cardstock and then I also cut it out of some black foam so what that means is then that um, for layering purposes I have this now and the amount of dimension that is on there because that foam now is amazing. Um, really, really cool. <laughs> Sharon says, um, do I need to do anything to win a prize? I love your stamps and dies. So Sharon, I don't know if you have any of our, our stamps or dies already. Um, if not, we do have some free digi stamps on the website that you can access um, and then you can enter our challenge so it's a really good prompt there and Jane I know you've jumped in straight away to say we have have a challenge if you um, join our challenge um, it's you don't have to be you know use all time for tea products as long as there's there's some time for tea products in there or a time for tea product in there that's all we ask um, and then um, a winner is selected at random every month to win uh, 20, it's 25 pounds, isn't it, Jane, of Time for Tea goodies. Um, so it's really, really easy to enter. Um, and we'd love to see more of you showing us your, uh, your, um, your projects that you create with your Time for Tea goodies, because it, if you're making them anyway, it's a chance for you to win even more goodies to add to your stash. So please do just um, get them on there. It's on the Time for Tea blog. Um, so Jane, if you're watching, I don't suppose you could link the uh, the blog for us, could you please? Um, I'm really sorry if you're having problems sharing with it freezing. It looks fine from my end. Um, so do let me know if anybody else is having a problem. It might be that you might just have to uh, maybe 
refresh, come out and go back in again. <laughs> um, if you um, are having any any trouble posting them on the internet, Sharon, um, have a word with um, Jane separately and she'll give you a hand, I'm sure, because it's so simple, so easy, honestly. Um, okay, so we've die cut our, our sentiment now. So, and like I said, this now is going to come together quite quickly because um, we've created our beautiful background already. And um, this is the thing that I just love about, about these um, solid stamps as well, is that you can make these little background elements um, and these um, embellishments. It's like making your own embellishments, isn't it? That's the word that I'm looking for. Uh, so you've been able to make those yourself um, and then you've also created your own beautiful background. So where's my um, my slim line? So I think I'm, I'm going to add this on as a um, as a, a one layer, not one layer piece, but no, you know what I mean, no dimension to this because um, there's going to be a lot of dimension on the front of my card. Um, lots of embellishments and so on. So I think it's good to just keep this as a as um, a flat um, layer. So I'm just going to do my best to get that central. And the liquid glue, as you know, just helps me with my wonky wonky issues. I think that looks fairly straight. And I do have a long acrylic bl block here, which might just help help me press that down a little bit, which is quite a good shout. Oh, thank you, Jane. You're a star, absolute star. So please do um, do join us for those challenges. We announce the winner on the fifteenth of every month. So we have. A winner to be announced very very soon and we also as well as having a winner a prize winner we also have um, winner, uh, a winner that is selected by the design team to uh, guest design for us in the following month I've got a little bit of sticky just here and I feel like that is going to impact on my it's going to end up all over my card, isn't it, if I don't get it up? So let's just, there we go. I think we've got it. We've got it. Okay, so that's my background, which is really cool. Now, what you could do if you wanted to, you could do this on a black piece of cardstock. I like the white background, so that's what I've, I've gone with. My little bear, um, I popped him up on some foam tape already, and I'm going to pop him at one side let me just grab my um my sentiment and just make sure if that's in the middle where does my little guy want to sit so i think he's he's good there isn't he and then my big birthday wishes let's get this stuck down so now we've got the dimension with the foam i don't need to add any actual foam tape so I can just add some dots of my liquid glue, which is really easy to do with the fine um, tipped nozzle that we've got here. So just add in a few dots of this. There we go. So yeah, you can add a, a photo to the Facebook friends group and tag Jane and then she'll link it up to the challenge. Oh Jane, that's so lovely of you. Um, yeah, that'd be great. It'd be great to see some of your projects. So, and then we're going to pop this in the middle. So like I said, this, this week it has been a bit hectic, not only with the... Um, with the new release which has been out of this world um amazing um but we've also decided in our wisdom that it would be a good time now to have our um fascias done on the front of the house because it, it's it's um it was starting to look a little bit tired shall we say so um 
so I so we thought all right we'll get them done and we had somebody round a, a, a good what long while ago now uh, to come and kind of do all the measuring up and quotas and they were here for hours oh it's such a long process it's oh anyway um we signed up for them and they um were due to come last month but they couldn't because the guy who is uh was in like the um in charge of the team that would be doing the work had broken his wrist so that was put back a month um and then it was it was scheduled then for this uh week uh was it this week? oh goodness it's been such a long week um anyway it was a bit of a farce is what i will say um they couldn't do it for one reason or another because they hadn't measured up right and they didn't have enough boards and then the surveyor hadn't told them about a fence uh, th about the fence being blocked by some um some bushes which belong to our neighbor so they were saying they couldn't do the work and it was all a bit of a oh um yeah it was a bit traumatic shall we say um and there was lots of complaining had to be done in order to get the work done um as we'd agreed um so yeah it's just not fun is it when you have to do stuff like that it's adulting it's no fun it's not crafting is it <laughs> so i'm just arranging some of my balloons in this at this side now so that we're going to have like a big kind of explosion of balloons at the bottom here and i might pop a couple of these up i think and i've just tried to mix up the colors oh danielle it was it has been awful in the you know they were saying they weren't going to do the job at all then they were saying right we'll do it but they're going to charge us extra even though it was their mistake um then they weren't going to be able to do it because of the this um this uh this hedge that was covering part of the the access for them and then oh, i wanted to pop that one up actually didn't i I think I still can um, and then they were also um, so there was all of that then the, the, we were also meant to be having the soil pipe on the back of the house replaced as well and they it, they said it, it would all be done on the same day but then no team turned up to do that so that hasn't been scheduled so we're gonna have to wait for them to be rescheduled which they haven't given us a date for yet and I'm not I'm not wholly convinced that there will be a date set for that anytime soon but like Ant said they won't get paid until all of the work has been done so it's in their interests to get somebody out to do it. The work that they have done has been pretty much okay there is one little bit of it that isn't quite right um, but the mess that they left behind was just absolutely unbelievable i hadn't expected that there would be anywhere near that much mess um so they they put some kind of they said it was like insulation but it's they said it, it, it's, it's like dust or something i don't know but it basically looked like it had snowed all over our neighbor's house and their garden and snowed all over our house and our garden so our neighbour's garden was absolutely covered in this white fluff which th we made them clean it up afterwards but they didn't clean it all up. So we then spent the evening of Tuesday, was it Tuesday yet? It seems like a long, longer ago now. Um, we spent the evening of Tuesday at like this kind of time sweeping up next door's garden um <laughs> so um and just apologizing profusely um for the mess so honestly it was terrible yeah they should definitely clean it up they were you know they were just it was so just such hard work all day it was stressful we had to keep checking you know when you just feel like you've got to check that they're doing what they're supposed to be doing and oh it was bad and I, i'd said to the guy on the phone um you know we do have neighbours who would perhaps want work doing to their house and they might possibly be looking for recommendations but um, you know I'm, it's very unlikely that they're going to get a recommendation from me for you guys you know so 
um, we'll see. So um, you see, you saw there that I've just placed all of my um, my uh, balloons down, and now I'm just going to use my um, fine liner pen here uh, just to add some um, some strings to my balloons so that they don't look like that they they are just floating about uh, too randomly. Um, the ones that I took behind, I think I will leave. And this one here, um, I'm just debating whether to go a little bit further down with it and then um, kind of come out from behind that one and take it down to the bottom there. That's quite cute, isn't it? Um, so yeah, that's um, so that's been the story of our week, really. Um, Annalise says, this card is adorable. I love it. Oh, thank you. It is so frustrating because... You know, you just think, oh, goodness, we haven't really got time to be dealing with all of this. Um, then we've had problems with our car as well. So I will just quickly tell you this. So we bought a car. We have downsized our car because we've realised that I don't use it at all. We've got um, a, a, a second-hand Range Rover, which is a beautiful car. It's luxury. Um, and it is also good for transporting lots of goods. So when we were going to shows and things, it was really handy. Um, but we haven't been going to shows and we've decided, you know, if we do go to a show, we're probably better off just hiring a van for the day uh, when we do go, rather than paying for an expensive car that is only really used to take Ant to work four days a week. Um, the rest of the time, because I'm working from home, I don't use it. So... Um, we've downsized, we've found a car that we loved, we bought this little car, it's a Fiat 500, it's so cute, it's really adorable, but when we got it home we realised that there were loads of problems with it, so we've taken it back to the showroom, they were really lovely, um, not like the other company, they were very much like, oh no it's our fault, we'll, we'll fix it for you, we'll put it right, um, and uh, so we're like, well, that's great. You know, if they're going to put it right, we haven't got an issue with them. These things happen. Um, anyway, we've been to collect it today and they haven't done any of the things that they said they were going to do, which is just like, oh, my goodness. They've not even cleaned it. Um, this, you know, it hadn't been cleaned. It, it looked filthy inside. And we said, you know, it, we expect at least it to have been cleaned inside and they've not cleaned it. Um, as well as not doing the other work to it that they'd said they were going to do. So, um, so yeah, so we've had to leave it there. <laughs> so, it's been a funny old week. <laughs> it's been one stress after another. So, anyway, that's my, my little bit of news <laughs> to, that I um, just downloaded you with. So, yeah, so it's just, it, you know... Like, uh, I think, um, was it Danielle saying that, you know, they can't get the staff? I, we, we're just saying to ourselves, why can't people just do what they say they're going to do? Why can't, you know, people um, just do their jobs? <laughs> um, you know, and I know I make mistakes um, and I've made mistakes in people's orders before and it's all, you know, unintentional, but... You do your best to put it right for people, don't you? Because things do happen. We are all human. Um, so we totally understand that. But then if I say I'm going to put something right, then, I, you know, you make every effort to do that, don't you? So anyway, that's my moan over. Um, yes, the week is nearly over. I've got a big party to, to um, look forward to at my mum and dad's um, anniversary. So I'm going to go and see if I can finish some of the plans for that now, um, this evening, and hopefully not be up too late um, and get that done. So Ant's actually out at the moment trying to get himself an outfit for the weekend because he hasn't had time to go and look after himself, bless him, because he's been dealing with all of this with me. So, um, so yeah, so we're both looking forward to a bit of a rest this weekend. <laughs> So, um, thank you for listening to my moans tonight and spending a bit of time with me. Like I say, it has been a bit of a shorter one, so I hope that that hasn't been, um, you know, you don't feel like you've missed out on anything. I wanted to come on and at least show you this because I did think this was a really cute card. Um, really easy to put together, really bright and fun. 
um, and I, I think it's just it's the perfect birthday bash kind of a card isn't it so um, and the little bear is so cute so that's my card for this evening um, thank you for all of your support guys it's so lovely of you um, have a great time and wish your parents well from all of us I will 50 years can you imagine Sarah can you imagine 50 years together it's amazing um, you just don't hear of it anymore do you <laughs> um, so yes we, we are going to enjoy the weekend thank you everyone thank you Claire thank you Annalisa thank you Jane thank you Danielle you're you're all awesome and thank you for for joining me for another Thursday night crafty session by next Thursday I am hoping that I am much more relaxed and much more rested um and we'll do we'll do a proper longer version next wow 38 years claire that's amazing and 21 is good you see i said to Anne, who at this point is in you know is in no rush to be asking me to marry him unfortunately um <laughs> but i'm not going to be alive long enough to have been married that long that's an awful thing to think isn't it but it's true lucky 13 alice lucky 13 um exactly that i was going to look up that actually sarah i was going to look up to see what the um prison t term would have been if you had you know committed murder or something because that's what they say isn't it that you you uh, spend less time in prison for murder <laughs> um it is a long time and they are so lovely bless them um so but my, my dad fell and uh, he had a they have terrible problems at their um their home with water works so it's either the drains that have gone or they've had a leaky washing machine or a leaky something and they'd had a leak in the um they had a leak in the conservatory and so there was water on the floor my dad didn't see it and he slipped on it and hurt himself He's 73 now, 74. Oh, I can't remember. Anyway, he's in his 70s. Um, and, you know, he's fallen. He's hurt, he's hurt himself the week before his anniversary due. So he's not going to be doing any dancing on the tables, I don't think. So I think we're all having a bit of a week. <laughs> Thankfully, we have we have some, some party time and a drink at the end of it. <laughs> Right, I'm going to leave you there, guys, because I've still got lots to do this evening. I'm so glad. No, he's he's fine, honestly. He's okay. Um, but it's just not it's not good, is it? I know, poor dad. Bless him. So, um, I shall speak to you all next week if I don't speak to you before. Obviously, my wonderful design team will keeping be keeping you inspired over the weekend and the rest of the week. Um, and don't forget that challenge. Um, head over to that challenge blog and um, and post your entries on there and uh, and I'll see you next Thursday with an update on all of our shenanigans <laughs> see you soon guys thanks so much good night bye